What's going on, everybody? This is a segment from the Nerdgasm Talk podcast. If you like podcasts, well, why don't you come join us as the crew gets silly and Philly while we sit to talk about the latest in comics, games, movies, and all things pop culture. You guys can listen to our whole show on all the podcasts that we're on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, wherever you guys get your podcasts from. And make sure you guys also support the channel by subscribing to the Nerd Coalition Studios. And for the gaming needs, make sure you subscribe to Nerd Coalition level up this is the nerd coalition hope you guys enjoyed the show and now feel the nerd thing you know why swag is here he just like hey look you know these podcasts are now straight business so if it ain't nothing i'm talking about don't call me and i said okay hey this man said so i already knew i already knew i said well you know Spider-Man 2 is coming out. We knew. Do y'all, first of all, one of the most entertaining things that I do miss, I will say this, was Swag on Zero's Spider-Man live streams that he used to do. So, I already knew when Spider-Man 2 came out, out of every game that came out, he was going to play this game. Yeah. Every I, game. I, 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 I had to blow the dust off my PS5. It's, <laughs> oh, man. You ain't playing play that much? I was like, whew. <laughs> yeah, all right, here we go. And look, he got it on day one. Actually, he probably got it before I did. I got it on day one. And uh, I got it like late in the day because I got the collector's edition. Yeah. I called Ed Boone up and said, bro, I'm going to take a break because I'm about to play Spider Man. And that's the only thing that's been touching my PS5 until actually, no lie, today. By the time uh, we're recording this on a Thursday night. Because today was the day Omni Man came out. Oh, nice. So I had to go and try him out. And I was just like, because, you know, I remember a certain somebody said, hey, when Omni Man come out, you know, you better be ready to play. I'm like, huh, I'm ready. So I did uh, say that. Um, you did You did say that. There, there, there's, there's a 2% chance I was lying. <laughs> <laughs> just two. Just two. Just, just two. <laughs> Spider Man took my soul. Don't worry, because Q, he's like, yo, you want to play Gotham Knights? I, like, I have a better. Ew, Superhero Gotham game. Knights. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I return that game. You know what? Gotham Knights, I couldn't get rid of. You know, it's like it's like when you try throwing the trash and you come back in the house, it's on the desk. That's how Gotham Knights was. Because I definitely sold that game. And he, he, he go pick places for us. It's free. That's the reason why he's telling. Because he was like, yo, you want to play? I'm like, $20 is too much. $20 no, is too much. No, I mean, it, it's y'all can go download it. It's free on PlayStation Plus. But, bruh. Gotham I'm not downloading was, it. I, I, <laughs> I'm, not, it, I'm not playing it. it. It was such a letdown, bro. I, look, if you go on my my PS5 history, it, it only said I only put three hours into that game. <laughs> I <laughs> three did an hour. hours. I played the trial, and I was like, "Yeah." After solving all these damn <laughs> mysteries, I'm just like, "Bro, can y'all just tell me where to go next?" We're here for Spider Man. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. So Marvel Spider Man Two. This came out three years after Miles Morales. Okay. Don't listen to IGN. Okay. I'm sorry because I, I it, IGN said this was the best out of the Spider Man game yet. It got rated the lowest. So so some some not balancing here. So I'm a. I remember you told me that I did watch the review. However, I slightly agree to that. This okay. definitely is the best Spider Man experience. Uh-huh. However, the flaws are unique to this game only. Okay. If that makes sense. Well, we like, might- I think Miles Morales is a 9 out of 10. And I gave you my score for this. Yeah. It, it's not a 9. But, um, yeah, it, I think this is the best Spider-Man game. But the flaws are so unique to this game that, you know, I can't carry that over to, like, Miles Morales or Spider-Man PS4. Okay, well, I'll, I'll say this. So, we're going to go into our thoughts about the game, what we like, what we didn't like, some of the flaws that Swag is talking about. We're going to get, we're getting into the spoilers. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and hide no spoilers. We getting in the spoilers. So, it, if y'all beat the game by now, okay. I mean, I ain't say hundred percent the game. I mean, beat the guy. I'm at ninety one percent right now. A hundred. Yeah, one hundred that game. Yeah, I, I, I figured you were going to do that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm going a hundred it. Before the Arkham Knight trilogy comes out, because you know I gotta get that and play that over again. Oh my god! <laughs> Hope it's not buggy. 
Oh wait, you're getting it for the sw- man. That's <laughs> what it's for. It already got one for the for the the, the, the console version already. But let's start with the good, the things we liked about the game, things mm-hmm. that we then the, the flaws in the game, and then we, which were also over just the story elements were overlaid because in this game we are uh, focused on Craven. At, at first, right, but then as when when the, when the trails first they came out, we talked about it. We were talking about a lot of Craven the Hunter, but now Venom. We know Venom is like that's the one, and I was like, okay, because each game I like having the you know like the sub villain and then the main one because that's how it was in the first one. We had Mister Negative as as the sub one, the one that introduced the first time, and then it was all Sinister Six and Doc Ock for that first game. Mm-hmm. And this one is Craven as that that that, that sub boss, and when we got Venom as the thing. And I, you know, so I, I can't wait to see how the future goes and things like that. So that's going to be something dope. So automatically, I'll start off with stuff that I liked about the game automatically. First of all, the gameplay and the swinging element, I, I enjoyed that very much. So with Peter, with Miles, that they felt it, a lot of times they felt different. And then a lot of times they did feel the same, but just having both of them, uh, in the gameplay thing, I, I really enjoyed that. I, I love the way we can use the powers and the gadgets in this game. I'm going to be because to be honest with you, I didn't use much gadgets in the other game because of how they had of how they had that old Arkham City in uh, Asylum uh, selection for the gadgets and stuff like that. They right, the down. item wheel. Yeah, the item wheel had to slow the things down. I like that. It's like, okay, L1... Uh, uh, the L side is your powers. The the R side is your gadgets, and and they're up there. So I see what's up there, what's about to run out, and I ain't got to try to slow things. I I that helped me out a lot. That's the, those elements I really enjoy. Then the mm-hmm. goal the go along with the gameplay. I felt as though that in this game, these were the best side missions that they have done in these kind of games. Because, oh yeah, for sure. Because I felt as though these side missions. Felt like actual missions that tied into the story. And it wasn't just like, you know, hey, save this firefighter or go this. Even though we did have those missions or, or somebody's getting robbed and stuff like that. But we had we had side missions that had cutscenes and stories that went on. And it wasn't just one and done missions. You had, it's like a whole continuous thing. And Miles and Peter at least had two of those kind of side missions apiece. Right. Which I. Uh, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Um. Real quick on Traversal, smooth. Yeah. I wanted Web Wings since 2018, and I'm oh, so man. glad we got it. And you could definitely tell this was not possible without the PS5. Absolutely. With the not. speed you're going, how fast everything is loading around you. If that solid state hard drive is on, is put into work. It, if this was on a PS4, it would have exploded. <laughs> no, that was, that, that system would have took off in flight. Oh, 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 don't worry, Hello, I got one better for you. If it was on the switch, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this, the switch would have melted. That, I'm about to say the joy cards would have jumped off. Like, ah, it's, it's yeah. too hot. <laughs> Man, this ain't hot. Uh, <laughs> um, traversal amazing. Side missions is also a um, criticism that I had about the first one yeah. where I felt like the side like Spider-Man Rose Gallery is huge. Yes. And they it was a missed opportunity for the side missions to implement them into mm-hmm. it. Whereas this game did. And not only that, uh what I liked about Miles was that I felt like out of all the me- recent media we had of Spider-Man, Miles Morales was the first time in a long while where he felt like a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man where he was helping the community. Yes. These, they carried that over in this game with like um, the Howard mission. I'm not sure if you got there. The, uh, the, um, the, the guy with the birds. Yes. Oh, that was, you know what? Man. My uh, sister's boyfriend said I should have did that with Peter. I did that with Miles. I, I did it with Miles as well. Yeah. I, I, I feel like it would have been better with Peter because he has yeah. more of a relationship with him because of the first game. Exactly. Like that one, the one where the uh, grandfather's sitting in the park. Yeah. The the um, blind lady. I'm like, those are like, that's Spider Man. Like, yeah, you know, I agree. It was like, yeah. Spider Man. Whatever is, you say, and I did it. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like 
Spider Man always looked out for the little guy, and I'm so glad they made grounded missions. It's like you don't always got to save the city. Exactly. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to save the neighborhood. Uh huh. So yeah, side missions were amazing, and again, adding characters. Wait, are we in spoiler territory? Oh, I, the whole thing is spoiler territory. Okay. Uh, what what missions did you not do? Okay, so I'm at ninety one percent. I did. Mm-hmm. If you're thinking about. The whole carnage thing, I did it. If you're thinking about the God. chameleon, <laughs> if you're yeah. thinking about the chameleon thing, I did it. Okay. Yeah. If you're thinking about Mysterio, I did it. Even okay. Though, okay. Even though yeah, that's the big, that's the basic. <laughs> you know, um, fucking White Ranger out here, but you know, <laughs> Dude, carnage. I saw it coming, but I loved how it was executed. Yes. Yes. I was like, as soon as I saw like the flame, I was like, there's no villain. And then I was like, red hair. Okay. This had the best prologue in any of them Spider-Man yeah. games. Way better open. Oh, real quick. I also yeah. like how, I mean, because there a lot of villains did die in this game. Yes. But I'm glad a lot of them got redemption. Say, because it, like in which way it, are you talking about? It's a big thing for Spider Man to help people. Yeah. And that was like like his first instinct on a lot of them. Mysterio. That was redemption. Tombstone. He's out of the game. Yes, that, that, just, that, that's right. You're right. I forgot about uh, Tombstone. Sandman, after you do the sand crystals, it's like, bro, I was being chased after. This isn't my fault. Like Yeah. I, I just want my daughter to be safe. I was like, I, I like everything where it's like we're we're we wanna help you guys. Instead of like we gotta be Mr. Him. Negative also. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That I forgot about Mr. That was yeah. a big point. Uh but yeah, prologue. Man. That yeah, if if y'all cause first of all, they they already released it that first twenty five like the first twenty five minutes or the first thirty minutes of Spider Man before that game came out. So you know you're on that Sandman mission and that right there it illustrates to you right there this is what the game is going to be with these two Spider Man. And, and I like this because I feel like Insomniac, excuse me, Insomniac is the only studio that flexes the PS5. Okay. Like, it really shows, like, okay, this is a next gen game. Like, uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart with the portals. Okay. Yeah. Like, that, I was like, oh my God, this is great. But this one, I was like, throwing miles across the city, the him swinging right, I was like, the. the these are actual loading times. Yeah, is it? Because <laughs> that is, These are, that is insane. The fast travel is fast travel. Yeah, that is, first of all, I like, I like the animation for the fast travel. Because usually before it was like, they'd be in the subway station or the subway right. car. This one's just like, oh, oh, we there. Yeah, right. I was like, what? I was, I was like shocked. How do you feel about the changes that they have made to the story for the main mission, such as the, the biggest one of all, Harry Osborne being Venom opposed to Eddie Brock. I liked it. I was okay. I, I figured Harry was going to be it. Yeah. Um. Even with, like, promotion, they were kind of like, oh, well, we don't want to spoil it. And it had me thinking, it was like, well, is it someone else? But it was, like, obvious it was going to be Venom. Yeah. I mean, uh, it was going to be Harry. I liked how they implemented Agent Venom in this, which was quite a surprise. Uh-huh. That I didn't expect. And I also like how the symbiote was handled in here. It wasn't just all evil. It just amplified emotions already being felt. Yeah. Like, uh, like yeah, Harry wants to help people. Okay, the suit is going to make me help people. But it also was like, I'm calling out to Peter. Uh, he got something that I want. Yeah, he didn't give it that. At first, I was, I was kind of mad. I was like, oh, Peter, if you don't get this, you don't get this shit back. Yeah. yeah like, now, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of you always stepping on Harry. One criticism about the symbiote. <clears throat> yeah. I just wish we had it a tad bit longer. Just a tad bit longer to see, like, because um, one of the directors said he wanted to deal, like, he wanted this to be a story about addiction. Yeah. And I feel like that wasn't driven home just yet. If it was a tad bit longer. And Peter got like a little bit more dark. I feel like I was like, okay, we there. But um, he was reaching that point. Boy, he- especially when he told Harry, he was like, oh, you pop some more pills and tell me I was like, Peter, <laughs> <laughs> whoa. <laughs> he, he, first of all, you saw, well, the way he talked about uh, the mom's mom, I'm like, yo, bro, 
I, I was ready to fight. Yo, don't, don't, you, don't you be talking to her like that. Someone, uh, I saw a little TikTok of um, <laughs> of someone saying um, me looking at Peter when he uh, raised his voice at Rio, yeah. and it was uh, Daniel Kaluuya in Widows when he's yeah. looking at that guy. Right? Oh yeah, like yeah, like bro, you're about to get popped in the head. Like yo, watch your mouth. <laughs> like, watch your mouth. <laughs> but, well, I, the way she turned and looked at him, I was like, look, like well, Peter, I, I dare said you. I got it. I <laughs> dare you to do something. <laughs> That like, chocolate was about to come out. across the corner. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Who are you talking <laughs> to, bro? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I enjoy that the gameplay, like, did this, the gameplay to me was long and smooth and something that I really enjoy when I, when I play games like this. Where mm-hmm. it's challenging, but it's not too challenging to the point I want to just sell the game. Gotham Knights. Right. But it's something that, <laughs> it's like, I, I'm enjoying playing and I'm enjoying it because... I already know you probably got anything in the first try. But for me, like the Craven boss fight with mm-hmm. the bell, that damn bell. Uh the Venom fight and mm-hmm. you know the first the first lizard fight. And like right. I said, at, at first, that Craven thing was getting on my nerves. And and then I was like, okay, then, then, then when I found out what, what I need to be doing, I gotta settle into this. Cause again, I I had to, to do that sit up. I said, I can't just casually play this on the floor then when i right. got past it it felt good to do that a lot of games don't don't do that anymore it's just like right. i'm just trying to get through this to get through it and i'm over it but this one it felt good to do that and that's one of the things i, I really loved about this game so i think this uh the fighting in this game reminded me of kingdom hearts i don't know why i said the two kingdom hearts references in the spider-man <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> um it reminded me of that for like certain boss battles because with that with that game you could either go in mashy or you could go in strategic and the ai will adjust to that yeah like if it sees you playing mashy it will like help make you work where you can play mashy if it sees you playing strategic it will work in a way where it sees you play strategic i'm a very strategic player i try to sit back analyze their moves and they're like okay let's that's get me my son is straight I'm going in for the weed. That's what you keep saying. So, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I remember Quato called me the, the second day after I got the game, right? And mm-hmm. he was like, how's the game going? I was just like, yo, these these Peter Savage is boring the fuck out of me right now. And it, 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 you know what? It didn't last that way because, you know, in the beginning, the mild side missions that I was doing was so fucking cool. Mm-hmm. And the Peter, like, I'm, I'm going through his high school with Harry. It's always about fucking yeah. Harry. And you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm, I'm going through the high school. I'm doing this whole science. I'm questioning Bugs. He's he doing all these bad dad jokes. Like, oh, yeah, be, be, be behind you. I'm like. Uh. I, was, I thought that was funny. Because I, look, Peter is meant to be corny. <laughs> He's like, Peter's just a corny guy all in all. And I was like, these missions and stuff that I like. When, when we finally got to the theme park, I was like, thank God, we're doing something entertaining. Go ahead and explore this whole fucking laboratory. I was like, oh, this boy, I don't care about none of this shit. Like, like, he, like <laughs> we walked through there, but the miles on the other hand, like, oh my God, these instruments are stolen here. Or we got to go, uh, do, you know, we doing the DJ thing for the mystery. Like, it just felt more fun on the, in, in the beginning. I'm, just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sitting uh-huh. there saying Peter was born because I really enjoy playing as Peter with the spider arms and all the updates you get. When you update the up, update him in the game, but it was just like that shit in the beginning. I was like, yo, we like, cause I, I was just in the guy. I, I wasn't even fifteen percent complete yet, and I was just like, right. oh, come on, Pete. Like, really, I I I, I really got to do stuff missions with you in high school when you were here. Like, come on, man. Like, it's, it's, I, it's one of the Steve I, Roger Bucky missions, man. Funny thing, I like that because in my head I was like, man, I kind of wish we got it earlier, like a young Peter. Just to see yeah. how he went through all this, and then getting the high school missions, I was like, "Oh, okay, this is cool." I'm totally yeah. with that. You know, or, or 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 the whole newspaper with the J. Jones said, "I got to ride the bike through New York." Yeah, okay, yeah. I hated that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "This is dope." Yeah, but I, I said, I this, like, "This nut ass bike keep getting caught on shit." I'm a New Yorker. I said, "This got to come on, end this, <laughs> end this." <laughs> so I was like, oh, "Pete, Pete, Pete," at the in the early side missions, I was just like. All right, Pete, get it together. But so when, when you when you said that, it just amplified everything I was feeling about that that Peter thing. So that makes sense about the whole thing with Miles. Yeah. Uh, as you were saying, MJ, 
You mean John Wick? Because <laughs> my God, what? <laughs> these missions like, were incredible. incredible. I was like, yo, for the first time, I was actually excited about. Oh, we had an MJ mission. That's how it was. Right, like, you know, too. I was like going up on that because the first I was like, oh my God, I'm so sick of playing this little ponytail MJ. Like, Say, I was like, bro, I don't want to play as her. And then we got the taste. I was like, okay, hold on, I love stealth. Yeah. And then we got the web shoot. I was like, okay, all right. <laughs> you yeah, got me. But, you know what? but she can also run. Like, like she could run up and zzz behind me in the first game. Yeah. I got to creep, creep, creep across the street. I'm like, can you put some pep in the step, baby? Please. <laughs> but in this one, oh, man. It, I, I enjoy those. Mar- like, when the Mary Jane mission came up, and I was like, you got to sneak out the house with the hunters. I was like, let's go. I, yep, I was one. ready. I, I, I was ready to call shit. I was sitting doing the stuff. They throwing the rocks in thing and, and then taking them all out. And it was kind of like, I, I'm like it. Then we just got like to put the web shooter on the gun too. Yo, I, yeah. Bro, I was. My only problem with that is that in the last mission, she felt too strong. I took that uh, giant symbiote out in like four shots. Okay. To, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> yeah, but you know what? To each his own because that that, that, that thing definitely killed me twice because I cause I was I wasn't reading the mangles right. She, okay, the, maybe it was a glitch on my end. That that probably was one of the glitches <laughs> because I wasn't reading the angles and, and two hits, she's done. You know what I'm saying? So like hell, I even liked the Halley mission. I did too. It was that cute. was a nice like. It was a nice yeah. It was like uh, it was cute. pace changer. Exactly. I was like, man. Got his little boot thing in there, man. I like. I like the. I like the how they distorted the sound too. Yes. I said. I I like this. It it was cool. The attention to detail. Yeah. They they already said before the end of the year they're updating it for the. uh, What's that game? New Game Plus. Yes. New Game Plus thing. I'm just like, okay, that's great. That's the main thing I'm waiting for because I. I'm just like I just I want to play it over, but I don't want to spoil myself like. Cause I want to wait for New Game Plus. Oh, yeah, I'm wait for New Game Plus. So I can have all my shit for when I. St- <laughs> yeah, and a uh, mission select, uh, where you get to randomly play any other missions. Okay, so everybody gonna be on that damn Venom mission. But anyway, <laughs> everybody gonna be on that joint for real. So yeah, uh, I agree with you about the crazy. Speaking of Venom. <laughs> yeah, speaking oh, wait, of Venom. Did, you didn't. You didn't. Did you have anything to say about Craven? I feel like I. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, I, I said I, I, I had it in mind the henchman. Yeah, I like I like oh, the story okay, about yeah. him dying. So yeah, I, I'm cool with it. Yeah, so Venom obviously is 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 the, is the main son bitch in this game, right? And mm-hmm. when it's not Eddie Brock, it's Harry Osborn, which I think is more personal than just having an Eddie Brock bully because yeah. Peter's 25 years old. Okay, so he he he, he probably is, but should st- still be dealing with no damn bullies like Eddie Brock. Harry, <laughs> uh, you know, say Harry. T- being his best friend ties more into it, and Harry and all these fucking Spider Man things always find himself into a fucking sequel. So I was like, okay, let Harry be a villain. A uh, 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 Venom is cool, but I I thought the whole thing with Venom and the whole symbiote taking over New York City and his final fight and and how you get to actually play as Venom for for one of those stages, I think was mm-hmm. done beautifully. Yeah, the setup to play as Venom was great. Yeah, because they faked us out. They thought I was like, I I was hoping I was like I'm glad Insania didn't do it because I was worried that as soon as we give uh, Harry the symbiote, we was gonna have to fight Venom. And I was like, I I want more time. Exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. I want, I want, like let I, it cook. Like, let it cook. Yeah. Right. Right. I was like, just let it. <laughs> and then they did that, and I was like, oh, thank God. With all that being said, you had some flaws that you want to talk about. Um, so let's get into those. Uh, yes, about Peter and Miles. Yeah, I enjoyed playing as them. However, I felt like they were too similar. Like, um, and I think that's because you had to make Peter a bit more enticing after the Miles game. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like Miles should have like I know they both have the weapon wheels and the what the gadget wheels and the ability wheel. Yeah. If Miles just had two ability wheels and Peter just had straight gadgets and just two gadget wheels, I would have been okay with that. And I think that would have gravitated me more to like play as whoever. Like if I'm getting into a brawl, I'll just pick Miles. And if I'm want to do stealth, I'll pick Peter. I because when it comes to gadgets, 
Miles is too powerful. He doesn't need him. Whereas Peter, I'm like, yeah, I need this. Okay, yes and no. I, I, I do mm-hmm. agree with you to a certain extent, but then there's also a part I disagree because I do believe in the beginning, sure. Mm-hmm. But with Peter gaining the symbiote power and with right. him being helped by Mr. Negative and then him getting becoming an anti-venom, like that's him now. Even when you go and you're playing these missions in the epilogue, you have that now. Right. And, and as far as, as like, like, like him getting a symbiote, I would have had straight abilities for that. No gadgets. Yeah. But but see, then also, I, I, that's why I feel so like the gadgets helped out too because even with the powers that they had, even with the with the with the symbiote power that Peter has, and then the the, le- the electric power that Miles has, it's still like I, the gadgets helped me out so much on the in the wrapping things up, such as that 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 little web thing that they grabbed like six guys at a time and brought them to the middle. I love that thing. Uh-huh. The one that with you know the, the electric web that they, they, they shot the web but shot them all up in the air. It does it, and especially when you're doing venom or symbiote stuff and doing uh those they, 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 those damn symbiote nests. That mm-hmm. that little sonic ring bell gadget is perfect. Right. Especially yeah but, that that yeah I, yes. I, I, will, I will understand if both of them had that yeah so 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 them having those gadgets it didn't bother me because i'm like it's, it's spider-man that there, there are times where it's just like okay even with using your powers even with you know miles using his powers it made you know a little less of a headache on certain missions but i would still need those things opposed to like uh having just one charge up of the, the that whole venom burst of, of his super move to do and have that charge back up and then all the in the moves charge back up a little bit longer than the gadgets do. <laughs> so for the final verdict, uh I remember you said that you gave this an eight point five. Does that still stand? Yes. Still stands at eight point five. Okay, I, I still get this a nine point you know just, just a nine. I I just to, to me right now, for what I played, this is my game mm-hmm. of the year. Oh, nice. Yeah, because like I said, I didn't play Final Fantasy 16. I didn't play, you know, a lot of the other games. So this is what, what I've got had time to play. You know me. I play a lot of action, adventure, and fighting games. So, Right. Yeah, this is um, this is time that I've been having fun with all the games, mostly this year when it came to this. Street Fighter 6, Mortal Kombat 1. This has been the best year in gaming. So far, it's been a great year. I, 